What's up guys, Jacko here, and I've got three drills that every wrestler should master at home without a partner. Before we get started, go ahead and hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my new workout videos and wrestling tips. Be sure to share with your friends, your family, anyone who is into fitness or wrestling, or just Jacko Attacko. All right guys, drill number one I call shadow wrestling. And for this drill, all you need is a simple prop. It could be a wall, it could be a tree, it could be a lamp, it could be a tripod stand. All you need is something to take the place of your opponent. So today, this tripod stand is my opponent. The focus of this drill is to work on your stance and motion. All right, so first step. I line up in my stance against my opponent and I'm visualizing my opponent right in front of me. What we're going to do is just size them up. We're going to take a couple of penetration steps, some tap and fix, circle your opponent. Just get a feel for moving around in your stance here. Once you get a feel for your opponent and getting in some penetration steps, now take the defensive side. Pretend that this guy's coming at you and get in your down blocks. Down block, head block. See how I'm constantly moving my feet. When I'm in my stance here, I never wanna be flat footed. I'm always moving my feet, whether I'm on the offense or the defense. Whether you have a prop or not, what I recommend is being able to maintain your stance in good form for at least 10 minutes straight. And this is an exercise that you can do at home, outside of practice, without any partners. Just a few reminders of your stance here. When I'm in my stance, I wanna be comfortable. There is no proper form for stance. I've seen guys up here. I've seen guys take a knee right here. I just want to be comfortable. Slight bend in the knees, hands out, back straight, head up. That's pretty much it. Everything else has to be comfortable for you. As long as I keep moving my feet, I'm going to be in good position. What I like about this drill in particular is when you have a prop, it works on your ability to circle around your opponent instead of backing up. That's a big problem I see in wrestling is a lot of guys back up. I can't get to my offense when I'm constantly moving backwards. So this drill, I'm constantly circling my opponent here. Even if I'm on the defense, I'm circling. Like I said guys, if you have a prop like this, this is the workout that I recommend. Go around in your stance in motion 10 times being the offensive guy and then another 10 circles around being the defensive guy. That way you get a real feel on how to maintain position while you're circling your opponent and keeping pressure. Once you've completed those rounds, I want to make sure that you're able to maintain your stance. Just do regular stance in motion for at least another 10 minutes. And if you can't get to a proper stance for 10 minutes straight, work up to it. Set yourself a goal. Maybe you start at five minutes, then six. Work yourself up. All right, guys, drill number two. We're getting into our stand-up drill here. And stand-ups are all about explosion. The more practice and the more reps that you get on your own, the better you're going to be when you have a guy on top. Now for my stand up, here is how I set up. I like to curl my toes to give myself a little bit of a push up to, towards my feet. You can roll your ankles underneath, but I just have bad ankles and it's just not as comfortable for me. So, curl my toes. Now, I have a slight bend in my arms right here because I'm going to push off my arms here. Use it as a springboard up to my feet, all right? And I'm gonna practice both sides, starting with my left leg first and my right leg to follow.
This is an easy drill that you can perform on your own. You should be doing at least 50 reps each side outside of practice. Starting with your left, then going to your right. Stand-ups are all about explosion. So I'm gonna give you a few exercises you can do at home to work on your explosiveness. First up, we're doing knee jumps. So starting on your knees, I'm going to explode and jump up to my feet here. Another great exercise you could do are knee get-ups. So starting on your knees, step up to your feet and back down to your knees as quickly as possible. So it should look something like this. Oh, here's the workout I recommend you doing at home. 50 stand-ups from your left side, 50 stand-ups from your right side, 50 knee jumps, and then 50 knee get-ups. The last drill that I recommend doing at home is a back neck bridge. Having solid neck strength in this sport is crucial. Everything from being in your stance, from being hand fought against, or if you're on your back and bridging off of a pin, having that neck strength is pivotal. So I'm out here on a grass field and I'm gonna be doing neck bridges, so what's your excuse? Work yourself up so that you touch your nose to the ground here. Don't be afraid to move side to side, left to right, back and forward. Now there's a couple other exercises that you can do to supplement this back bridge drill. One, to work on your neck strength, Simply just put your hands on your neck. Give yourself some resistance as you try and look upwards. You can also do it side to side. So put your hand on one side and give yourself some resistance pushing your head that direction. To work on your back strength in your back arch, if you're not ready to do that yet, flip onto your belly and perform some supermans. So, here's the exercise I recommend. Back bridge arch hold for five minutes. And if you can't get five minutes to start, work yourself up to it. Then flip it over, do some neck uh, pulses, 25 in each direction, up, left, and right. And then finally flip it on over and do 50 Superman pulses to complete your back workout. Alright guys, just to recap, our three drills that every wrestler should master at home without a partner. Number one, shadow wrestling. Number two, stand-ups. And then number three, get into your neck back bridge. All right, so what are you waiting for? I'm Jack Otaco. I'll see you next time for some more wrestling tips. Peace. If you guys have any questions or you have anything that you want me to cover in my next video, please leave them in the comments section and I will take a look. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.